Wu Wei is the principle of not forcing in anything that you do. Now we know when we watch any performance of an artist, be it a dancer or a, an actor or a musician, we know immediately when the performance is forced. And we say it doesn't ring true, it's too artificial, it doesn't seem to be natural. The whole conception of nature is as a self-regulating, self-governing, indeed democratic organism. But it has a totality. It all goes together, and this totality is the Tao. When we speak uh, in Taoism of following the course of nature, following the way, what it means is, is more like this. Doing things in accordance with the grain. It doesn't mean you don't cut wood, but it means that you cut wood along the lines where wood is most easy to cut, and you interact with other people along lines which are the most genial. And this, then, is the great fundamental principle, which is called Wu Wei, not to force anything. I think that's the best translation. It's often called not doing, not acting, not interfering, but not to force. Seems to me to hit the nail on the head. Like, don't ever force a lock while you bend the key or break the lock. You jiggle until it revolves. So Wu Wei is always to act in accordance with the pattern of things as they exist. Don't impose on any situation a, a kind of interference that is not really in accordance with the situation. It would be better to do nothing than to interfere without knowing the system of relations that exists. It's terribly important then to have this feeling of the interdependence of every form of life upon every other form of life. And in order to go into Taoism at all, we must begin by being in the frame of mind which can understand it. You cannot force yourself into this frame of mind any more than you can smooth disturbed water with your hand. But let's say that our starting point is that we forget what we know or think we know. That we suspend judgment about practically everything. Returning to what we were when we were babies. When we have not yet learned the names or language and although we have extremely sensitive bodies very alive senses we have no means of making an intellectual or verbal commentary on what is going on now can you consider that as your state. And in this state you just feel what is without calling it anything at all. You know nothing at all about anything called an external world in relation to an internal world. You don't know who you are you haven't even got the idea of the word you or I. It's before all that. You don't know the difference between the noise of a car outside and a wandering thought that enters your mind. They're both something that happens. You don't identify the presence of the thought, which might be just an image of a passing cloud in your mind's eye and the passing automobile they happen light all around you happens your response to it by blinking 
happens. So you simply are really unable to do anything. There's nothing that you're supposed to do. Nobody's told you anything to do. You're unable completely to do anything but be aware of the buzz. The visual buzz, the audible buzz, the tangible buzz, the smellable buzz, all buzz. It's going on. <laughs> Watch it. You have to be able to realize that you don't know what you really want to do until you are very quiet and it tells you. See, we are in heaven now because the earth is a spaceship and heaven is space. What is called in Chinese Kung, Japanese Gu, the void. But do you know you are much more space than you are anything else? If the ponderable, I won't say matter, the ponderable whatever in your bodies were condensed and all put together, it would be smaller than the point of a pin. We, we are airy nothings. So space is somehow very, very fundamental. Space. It comes down to space always. Space, which nobody can define, nobody can imagine, appears to be nothing, is the foundation of the universe. But you have to become again as a child to see that. Go back to your childhood. What were the fascinating things? What's out there? What's beyond the stars? How long does it go on? The child wonders. It's excited. That this is something that never ends. There's something fishy about it all. So we get a funny feeling when we think those questions really through. Very funny feeling. And children, you see, love to get into that funny feeling. Children do all kinds of weird things. They like to spin around as fast as possible, so they watch the suddenly the whole the ground gets tilting. And they make faces and test out their bodies in all sorts of funny ways. Because they know from the beginning that the world is weird. A strange thing. Because everybody knows what it's all about, only they won't admit it. Being brought up is being taught not to admit it. But you know very well what's going on. But in order to find out once more as an adult, you have to become again as a child. So what does that involve? It means, ladies and gentlemen, would you please check your ideas and opinions at the door? All your philosophical and religious views, all your logic, and view what is, as if you didn't even know how to talk. There is just this jazz. Just for the time being, let's simplify. Close your eyes, listen, what is? What do you really and truly Honest, here, don't name it, just as if it were music. Lao Tzu says, the scholar learns something every day, the man of Tao unlearns something every day, until he gets back to non-doing. Just simply, without comment, without an idea in your head, be aware. What else can you do? Don't try to be aware. You are. You'll find, of course, that you can't stop the commentary going on in your head. But at least you can regard it as interior noise. Listen to your chattering thoughts as you listen to the singing of a kettle. We don't know what it is we're aware of, especially when you take it all together. And there's this sense of something going on. 
Well, I said it was going on. That's an idea. And if I say, well, here it is, that excludes what isn't, like space. And if I say this, it excludes that. <laughs> I'm reduced to silence. But you can feel what I'm talking about, can't you? That's what's called Tao in Chinese. That's where we begin. There is a principle called Wu Wei. Wu means none or not, no, negation. Wei has a combination of meanings. It can mean action, making, but the best translation I have found for it is forcing. And so Wu Wei is the principle of not forcing in anything that you do. Many people who study the Taoist doctrines think that Wu Wei means do nothing in the sense of laissez-faire, be lazy, always be passive. It doesn't mean that. There is a time for action. When you study judo, you use muscle only at the right moment. When your opponent is hopelessly overextended and off balance, and you add a little muscle to it and you throw him across the room. But only then. You never use muscle at the wrong moment. And so Wu Wei is based on knowledge of the tide, the drift of things. Get with it. Wu Wei is the art of sailing rather than the art of rowing. Superior virtue has no intention to be virtuous and thus is virtue. Inferior virtue cannot let go of virtuosity and thus is not virtue. So one could also say the real Wu Wei is not intentionally Wu Wei and so is Wu Wei. But inferior Wu Wei so tries to be Wu Wei that it isn't.